Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a pre-trial hearing of a sovereign citizen, well, who was uh, charged with a few crimes that, well, would end up with him in prison for life should he be convicted of them. And, well, he pulls out some of the sovereign citizen tricks, but, well, doesn't really get anywhere with it at, at all. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got three case numbers, Your Honors, 19, CF 3340, 20 CF 756, and 19 CF 3365. Um, I know Mr. Saleen represents him in one of those. Mr. Saleen. Mr. Saleen, can you join us? Um, hey, Yana, can I speak for the record to you? Williams, finish now. Yes, sir. Um, so I think we're uh, set to go to trial on 20. I see 193365 next week. And uh, I presume 2756 as well. Yes, Judge. Um, I, I know that we, we dealt, we had a couple motions that we dealt with last week. I, I didn't rule on the motion to consolidate. I don't you, you did, Judge. Um, you granted it last week. I don't know that there's been a written order, but you granted right. it in court. Um, I actually had filed a um, amended information consolidating those two counts, but I left it on the printer this morning. So okay. uh, I will file that. Okay. Um, my intention is in the 193365 case, he is currently charged with two counts. Um, one is the felon possession of a firearm. That would have to be bifurcated anyways. So uh, I had not included that in the amended information. And I plan on moving forward with the attempted first degree murder with a firearm and the tampering of the witness um, at trial next week. Okay. And my recollection, Judge, was that you at that hearing, I remember you saying that you were inclined to grant the joinder of them. I'm not sure. You may have said it. But if I did for the, and just out of abundance of caution, I, I'll grant the motion. And, and that's was certainly, I anticipate you do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been uh, acting accordingly. I, I would like to uh, put a few things on the record, Your Honor. Uh, my client had an offer from the state uh, last week and uh, he did not w wish to take advantage of that offer. My investigator and I went out to the jail, talked to him, went over things, explained everything to him. I gave him my advice, which was that uh, I thought it was in his best interest to, to accept the offer. He refused that, and that offer was for uh, 20 years and with a mandatory minimum. Um, he still has an offer today for 25 years mandatory minimum. And I've discussed it with him briefly over here in the box. And he's told me that he doesn't wish to uh, to do that. But considering the hey, fact- Your Honor, this man ain't even helped me in my defense. Marty. None of that. Yeah, that's right. This sovereign citizen wants to go pro se on this case that has him facing uh, two life sentences should he be convicted. And uh, well, the old saying goes, a man who represents himself in a court of law has a fool for a client. And, dude, you are one of the bigger fools out there if you think you can win this case. And I'll let you know a little uh, thing that comes up here in a moment, that he has a ninth grade education. So he wants to go pro se against experienced attorneys while he has very little education to begin with. Dude, Get all the help you can get. Mr. McCarty, I told you I'd give you an opportunity to speak. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Finish. Um, what I was going to say, Your Honor, is uh, considering, uh, you know, I, I've explained to him that his exposure is in the uh, 3365, the attempted murder case is uh, a life sentence, in that he's further exposed in the 2756 case on the tampering to an additional 30 years since it was a tampering with the underlying case being a first degree. So I've explained to him his exposure. I've given him my advice. I've told him what I think is best for him. And he, uh, you know, as is his right, he's choosing not to do that. But I did want that on the record 
so that uh, there was no confusion later on about whether or not I had informed him of the offers and how I advised him and that sort of thing. So, and Your Honor, my intention is to revoke those offers today, um, and I, I plan on moving forward next week. Um, one thing that uh, Mr. Williams mentioned, uh, I, yesterday I filed the HBFO notice, um, which actually uh, extends his exposure in the tampering case from 30 years to uh, possible life in that case as well. Okay. So the maximum that Mr. Cromartie faces is two life uh, sentences consecutive. Okay. I, I really wasn't aware of that. Uh, you hear what he said? Yes, sir. But so let me I ask you I, this. Before you, the judge is going to give you a chance okay. to talk. Okay. But in light of the fact that the, Mr. Sullivan has made this new filing, and now you have, uh, your maximum exposure is two life sentences, do you wish to reconsider your choices with regard I don't to understand. accepting the I don't, offer? I don't understand. I don't understand. And being him, you, he, being that he's representing me, we haven't even worked the defense in my in my in this case at all. Period. Okay. And, and plus, let's, let's take one thing. Do you understand that you've been off for twenty five years in prison? I don't understand. So yeah. Understand. Then yes, you do understand. You have a plea offer for twenty five years in prison. I don't understand because. I'm innocent. I don't know. I don't know what's going listen, on. I don't, I, don't listen, know what they, I don't know what. Listen, you've already, you've already. Dude, you cannot declare yourself innocent in a trial. It doesn't work that way. There's a process that you go through. You haven't even made it through the pre-trial hearings yet, and you haven't gotten to jury selection as of this time. This is just letting you know what the deals are on the table, so you can. Uh, well, choose to do that or go to trial. Uh, but you still got to go to trial and let a jury of your peers hear your, the arguments. But of course, well, you want to go pro se, which in your particular case would be a total disaster for you. And uh, it is not very well recommended for you to do that. You've entered a not guilty plea. So there's a presumption that you're in or a presumption you're not guilty. So that... Regardless of, 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 of your claims or, or, the, or the fact that right now we presume you're not guilty, you understand the state has offered to let you plead no contest to charges, and it'd be a 25 year sentence. And I believe, how, what is it? Is it a minimum mandatory 25? It would be a minimum, a minimum mandatory. mandatory minus the time you served in jail. No, I just need to, you understand that's the plea offer from the state. Hell no. I don't understand none of this. What he talking? And it's a conspiracy between these two. Uh, right? Listen, Mr. Cromartie. Mr. Cromartie, what are you? Man, I don't understand, sir. And I got. I, I don't now. believe you, Mr. Cromartie, because you act like you do understand it. But what are you asking for right now? What are you asking for? I'm asking for him, him for him to be removed off my I'll raise case. your right hand to be sworn. I do. Wait till the oath is done, sir. Do it again, madam. Yes, sir. Raise your hand again. Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Cromartie, state your name. It's Mayor Cromartie. What are you asking for today, Mr. Cromartie? Right, this name of this contract does not refer nor identify the male standing in this corporation. I, Jamel Cromartie, being forced to, to go against my will and my best interest. My right of due process have been impeded upon. Also, my Fourth and Fifth Amendment right have been violated. I invoke my rights of the Constitution to protect me and my best interest. I invoke my Fifth Amendment. Oh, uh, yeah, you're complaining about your due process not being completed or even done at all when you're standing here in a courtroom in the middle of your due process. In this particular case, this is a pre-trial hearing to let you know what deals are on the table. Then you got jury selection. Then you got all sorts of other things that lead up to the trial. You are being given the due process, you bloody moron. And you're also spouting off conspiracy theories that everybody's working against you. No, they're actually trying to work with you, trying to get you the best offer. But no, 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 no. Some soft hard guru has gotten to you and uh, filled your head with this crap to the point where, well, your brain has completely turned into mush, more so than uh, what it already was. Okay. All right, then you vote the Fifth Amendment right, so you're you're not asking to testify. What are you asking me today? First of all, I have the right to 
Face my accuser. You face your accuser at the trial. This is a pre-trial hearing to let you know what's going on. L listen, listen, listen. What are you asking me to do today, Mr. Kamardi? You're saying I, I don't understand. Mr. Kamardi, what are you asking me today? I'm going to give you one No, chance. I don't need him on my case. Okay, are you at, listen, what are you asking me to do? Or this one right here. This one, this, both, them two right there, I got, I got, okay. I got, I got some that's conspiracy on what they're trying to do. Okay, what do you want me to do? Continue my trial. No, sir. Motion, get... motion denied. What are you actually asking me to do? What are you asking me to do, Mr. Cromarty? A fair trial. All right. Right now, you're going to get a fair trial. Is there anything you're asking me to do right now? I'm saying I don't need them on my case. What are you, are you asking me to remove them? Yes, sir. And then are you going to represent yourself or are you going to hire another? I I'd rather represent myself to I be an attorney. You already sworn in, so state your name again. Jamel Camardi, sir. Mr. Camardi, you're asking to represent yourself next week. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. You understand that you're looking at life in prison if convicted of two, two life sentences. Okay. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you understand you've been offered a 25-year plea deal? Yes, sir. And when you said before you didn't understand that, you were not being truthful with the court. Is that correct? Oh, I, I mean, it, I'm saying yes, sir, to say yes, sir. I'm, I'm guessing you agree with me. I don't know. No, I'm asking you a question. So you, did, you don't understand that. Is that correct? Understand what? That you have been offered 25 years in prison if you pled no contest and that would settle your cases. Do you understand that? I don't know how to answer that. You're going to have to answer my questions if you want to represent yourself, sir. If not, I'm not going to find you competent to represent yourself. Yes, sir. Do you understand you've been offered 25 years in prison? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So when you said before you didn't understand that, that you were not being truthful with the court, is that it's correct? There's a lot that's going on that I don't understand. Listen to me. Yes, sir. You were not being truthful with the court, is that correct? I'm not going to say I, I'm, I'm being truthful. When you I said, don't understand. You don't understand. You got, you got to talk to me in, in a level where I got to Yes, understand. sir, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you the same level. But some of that I don't understand, understand because there's some shit so you don't going you, on. You don't understand what's going on? Half of it, I don't. Okay. Do you under, do have you, how far did you get in school? Ninth grade. And you read and write? Barely. I could barely spell. Okay. And you understand if you represented yourself, you'd have to do everything a lawyer I'm gonna did. I'm going to do what I can that I've, been, that I've been trying to do. Do you understand you'd have to do everything? I'm better than him? Uh, there's no way you can uh, do it better than him because you stated that you pretty much dropped out of school at ninth grade and you can barely read or write. So I'm assuming that your uh, reading and writing skills are far below ninth grade at this point, perhaps fourth or fifth grade, maybe. I mean, if that, and you think you can learn all this in a week? Uh, no, dude. Uh, I don't think so, because they're, the knowledge that these uh, people have is, well, far above what you possess and takes years to learn. And uh, you need some uh, outstanding reading and writing skills just to attend attempt to get to their level. So representing yourself in this particular matter is not exactly a good idea and is strongly discouraged. And the judge, well, he's going to let you know that here in a moment. Listen to me. You've got, if you want to represent yourself, you're going to answer these questions. If not, I can't, I can't let, allow you to represent yourself. So you, I ain't trying to make a fool of myself, but Yana, I don't need them two on my case. Okay. You can barely read and write. Is that correct? I learn. You got you're gonna pick a jury Monday morning. I'm not continuing the case. And you're gonna try the case next week if you represent yourself. Okay. And you're reading right. I'm gonna learn. I, I, you don't have time to learn. So you, you can barely read and write. Is that correct? You don't understand about the plea offer. You understand you that the, the uh, lawyers are trained in the rules of evidence, criminal procedure, and the law. They're there to assist you in preparing for trial and trying the case. Do you understand that? <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to find that you're not confident to represent yourself. Mr. Saleem will stay on his case. Mr. Williams will stay on that case. And we'll see you Monday morning and pick a jury. All right. Well, that was probably the best outcome you could have in this pre-trial hearing. Uh, next week, you will have your jury selection. Maybe by then you'll figure out that, well, you are in the middle of your due process because these things take time. It's not uh, instantaneous gratification. 
And nope, that's not how it works within the justice system. The wheels turn very slowly. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?